Hello there. My name is Joseph Lekuchula. I am a pastoralist, a member of the Amaya Community Rangeland Management Institution in Samburu. I would like to share with you our experience of working together as a community to improve governance, manage our pastures, and other rangeland resources in a more inclusive way. To better manage our pastureland and other rangeland resources, we all participated in a community-owned system endorsed by all relevant stakeholders. We went through three main stages. Number one, investigating. Number two, negotiating. Number three, implementation. First, we started by identifying the resources within our rangelands at the investigating stage. We discussed how different people within the community use different resources available at the rangelands and how they can improve this usage to benefit more people in the community. At the second stage of negotiations, working together, we developed a rangeland management plan setting up roles for communities and rangeland advisors. At the last stage of implementation, we engaged in actions to slow and reverse the declining productivity within the rangeland. What we realized during these steps of the participatory rangeland management process is that for us to be successful, each member must dedicate their efforts to strengthening their role. Luckily, our chief had already explained to us how the roles of each community member are just like the four legs of a goat. Chief, why do we have a goat with you today? I want to demonstrate how effective participatory rangeland management works. Each leg of the goat represents a dimension of PRM, which is a role of the community and different stakeholders in the PRM process. What happens when one, two, three, or four legs are injured? The goat cannot move. True, the goat cannot move. For PRM to be effective, each community member working with other stakeholders must dedicate their efforts to strengthening their role. The communities have the primary right to manage their own rangelands. The first leg was establishment of governance and management of our Amaya Community Rangeland Institution. This involved us as the community working together to create a rangeland management plan. And what does this plan entail? That is a good question. This plan should answer what goals does the community have for their rangeland? What actions are needed to achieve these goals? And who will do it? And who is involved in developing the plan? Is it not only for elders and men? Yes, elders and men take part in the plan making. But including youth, women and minority ethnic groups for fairness and effective decision making, which is also quite important. Why is it important to have youths and women in the planning? This is because if women and youth are not consulted, they may not respect the plan. PRM is built on a foundation of transparent and accountable community governance structures and processes. This includes a rangeland management institution which serves and is accountable to the community. Now, we come to the second leg, which involves the management of rangeland unit. Here, the community creates a suitable grazing plan fitted to the local social and ecological context and determining feasible rangeland management options. A good grazing plan is adaptable and subject to modification as conditions and objectives change. How do we ensure everyone will follow the plan? To enforce and implement the grazing plans, the rangeland management institution requires bylaws. The plan also describes restoration needed in degraded areas and sets the acceptable locations of settlements, 
farms and other non-rangeland areas to reduce further degradation. The third leg is where we apply the use of landscape approach. What does the landscape approach mean? This is basically where the rangeland management institution members collaborates with neighboring communities to coordinate grazing across different rangelands. Here, we create awareness among neighboring communities that rangeland management institution exists and the steps taken to coordinate grazing patterns and manage resources. How do we involve our neighbors? The neighbors are represented in the planning process and we discuss issues on stock movements and routes, borders and sharing of resources to make decisions and activities for good relations and mutual understandings. We have to involve rangeland management institutions for different areas. The last leg of PRM system is building strong and constructive relationships between the rangeland management institution and county government, and often with larger customer institutions to secure recognition for itself as a representative body of the community for rangeland management activities. That is why I brought the goat with me today to explain participatory rangeland management process where community works together to improve governance and to better manage their pastures and other rangeland resources. I believe by working together as a community, we can overcome challenges that we've been facing, raising our livestock, improve the productivity, and we can make a sustainable and worthwhile business from our livestock.